Hello there everybody, this is Dreadwing2029 and this is the new reviewing series Dread Reviews or at least the reboot of my old reviewing series on Dreadwing2020. And for this first episode I think I might kick, kick it off with a large figure. Now what can I possibly review that's big? Well how about... How about this guy? He seems perfect. So this is one of two of Omega Supreme's vehicle modes, and this is, uh, um, yeah, I don't know what this thing is either. I mean, how are you supposed to describe this mode? This is like some sort of speed train, cross locomotive, and some sort of crane bit. I don't know how you're supposed to describe this in words. Like if somebody went up to you and say, Hey, what what is this mode? And you'll be like, um, yeah. But this mode does have a lot of interesting detail, like the silver on the side. He has, you see on the front, he has a little lot of little notches on the top. The wheels are nicely detailed. He has detail there. I love it. it's unpainted, but pretty nicely detailed. So you got this, the claw, this crane claw is detailed. Just everything is really well detailed on this guy. And he does have some gimmicks on him. He does have this rotating bit, which these are, these claw things? I don't know what these are supposed to be. Maybe they're like power lines on the train where you got these big long things sticking out and touching the... The power lines. Now I think that's to make the train go, I believe. But I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a train engineer. But yeah, I don't know what these things are. And of course, you got this claw which can go up and down and can go side to side. And this bit can move since this is Omega Supreme's arm. And you can also you also open up this part, which okay, pretty cool. And also, this whole thing rotates supposed to be like a crane or something. Mode 1. Do have a look at the box that this guy came in and look how big this box is. This box is so huge. You've got this big picture of a Mega Supreme. It's all shiny around it. Another big picture and it shows all this crap on the back. It's pretty cool. This thing is huge. Now you got his second alternate mode, this Cybertronian battleship. I'm not complaining because this mode does look something something in real life until you get to the back. Yep, those are thrusters in there. That means it is a battleship cross spaceship. I assume. This mode just lied to me. I was expecting to be a Battleship, the Cybertronian battleship, but it has thrusters. How oh, dare they? And also, this guy has welts of detail on the side. Look at all that on camera. Just very, very well done. A lot of this is again not painted, but this is very, very well. He has a Autobot symbol there. I think there's supposed to be lights and sounds here. Because there's like a battery bit under there, but I'm not sure. And like his second mode, he has some gimmicks as well. If you touch, if you um rotate this knob, there's these um these cannons rotate. You can rotate that way and rotate forward. And these firing missiles, I keep I keep losing these missiles for some reason. And also this turret, this turret separate, it can rotate. And also, for whatever reason, you can have this this rotate, but I don't know why you'll do that. So this is kind of a bit of a look at your second mode there. And here you get the last of the well official alternate modes. This weird. Combine mode, this Cybertronian Super Train, I believe the package is calling it. Oh my god. 
What is this? It looks like the train's going into the back of a of a battleship, to be honest. I mean, wow. I mean, this mode is so long, I can't even get the whole thing in frame. I'll, tr I'll try to. Almost got it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I actually can get this in frame, but god damn, is this thing long? And as you can see, everything still works on this mode. The turrets still work, the whole spinning turret gimmick still works. Either side. That uh, crane arm still works, still ro rotates, even these weird uh, claw things still work. It's just the second mode plugged into the battleship here. Uh, as you can see, it's long enough, it's even longer than my reviewing table, my reviewing ch chest table. Because this mode is so, so long. That's what she said. Now, ladies and gentlemen, comes the mode that everybody wants to see, the robot mode. Now, the vehicle modes were pretty much the icing on this nice chocolate cake, while the robot mode is the inner, gooey deliciousness inside the cake. Yes, I just compared to make a Supreme to a chocolate cake. So what? Let's, let's take a look at the robot mode. And holy combined mode, Batman. Here's Omega Supreme's robot mode. From feet to body to head, this guy looks amazing. I remember seeing the original Energon Omega Supreme, and this guy, without a doubt, is better than that. The, the turrets still rotate on him. The arm turrets and even this weird... Crane will do that, this, whatever this mode still rotates and it still goes individually and so does this uh, knee turret for, for whatever reason so and even the arm still rotates and he still grabs onto you and he can grab stuff. Also if you see you got the you got some of these parts like this on his shoulder you got this part and on his leg you got right here, and on his other leg you got here. Well, I believe these are connector ports, so you can put Energon Optimus Prime's uh, parts on, because Energon Optimus Prime had like a drill, he had a submarine, he had a, I think a crane as well. And I, I can't remember, but you can... You can open these up and you can put Energon Optimus Prime's parts on him. And also, this because this is basically Energon Omega Supreme, you can also combine with Energon Optimus Prime. And also on the back of the box it shows um, another mode for Omega Supreme. It's like some sort of artillery blaster, blaster mode. Which I'm assuming are, are what these things are for. So I guess... So Optimus Prime can like hold them and stuff. And if you look on the head, you can actually, if I can get it... You can open up the visor, revealing his... Awesome, awesome face. And you can... If you look on the back here, you, you can see... A bit of a gun. You can actually... You can actually extend that. So he has a face gun. Just like the G1. Awesome, 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 awesome. So, I hope you enjoy this little review of Omega Supreme, or Year of the Snake Omega Supreme, which is fully called. And this guy is really, really great. Great colours, great articulation, great transformation, and I say it's much, much better than the original Omega Supreme. So, what do I rate it? Well... Since the original Dread Reviews didn't have really much of a rating system, I thought, I feel like there is a, feel like there must be a rating system in place. Maybe like, like four, five stars, five out of five stars, which I'm going with, so. So I'm going to give Omega Supreme here five out of five stars because this guy is epic. I, I highly recommend you pick this guy up. 
I I don't really know if I want to pick up the third party Omega Supreme because I really enjoy this guy. So thankful thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please do subscribe. I'm hoping to get up to at least a hundred subscribers by probably the end of probably nearly the end of this month or even the end of April. And I'm hoping to get four hundred at the end of this year. But that'll be a really hard really hard feat. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and as always I'll see you guys next time for more Dread Room Dread Reviews. <laughs>